Still tied at two. Can you believe this, Bonnie? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome back to another inning of the 80s Emporium, your home for everything 80s. We're all missing sports right now, especially my favorite, Major League Baseball. And so, while we wait, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at the baseball movie boom of the 1980s. And this ball smashed is wrong! While America's pastime was around even before the age of cinema, it wasn't until the 1980s that baseball films really started becoming popular. The first movie to help legitimize the baseball genre was the 1984 Oscar-nominated classic, The Natural. The film was based on King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. It's no coincidence that in the film, Robert Redford plays for a team called the New York Knights. While The Natural was more fantastical, Bull Durham aimed for realism. Your place or mine? Despite my rejection of most Judeo-Christian ethics, I am, within the framework of the baseball season, monotonous. Give me a break. It's true. The history of baseball is full of inspiring and heartwarming stories, but it also has a dark side. John Sayles explores one of these stories with Eight Men Out, a film about one of the biggest scandals in sports history, in which the Chicago White Sox intentionally threw the World Series. Charlie Sheen makes a second appearance on our list, offering a change-up for the genre, a full-on comedy called Major League. Dear God, we humbly pray that you will guide and protect us as we gird up our loins to take the field of battle. Lead us on into victory in the name of Jesus Christ. If you put Kevin Costner in a baseball movie, he will most definitely come. Less than a year after Bull Durham, Kevin returned to the baseball genre, hitting another home run with Field of Dreams. After a game-changing decade for baseball films and with the 90s on deck, you might think that baseball movies were ready to foul out. But the genre was just getting started. In the summer of 1992, A League of Their Own was released to massive success. Star Gina Davis was cast in the lead role only a few days before production began, so she had to train vigorously in a short amount of time in order to portray lead ball player Dottie Hinson. Throughout the 90s, baseball films began to gravitate toward the family film genre. The most popular wasn't about professional baseball, but about the kids who played it in their backyards. 1993's The Sandlot. Where did your old man get that ball? What? I don't know. Some lady gave it to him. Why? What? Uh, yeah, she even signed her name on it. Some lady named Ruth. Baby Ruth. Ah! Baseball movies began to slow down at the turn of the century, but the tradition has continued, from The Rookie to Fever Pitch to Moneyball and countless more Kevin Costner movies. Guess what? You're a baseball star. Well, there you have it. A look into the baseball movie boom of the 1980s. Now I want to hear from you. What's your favorite baseball movie? Did we miss any? Comment below. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for more videos and the chance to win some prizes. And please check out our other 80s Movie Moments videos and let us know what you want to see next. And finally, be sure to check out the Lunacy Productions online shop and support our team with an official Lunacy baseball cap like the one I'm wearing right now. Thanks for watching. And don't forget the most important rule of baseball. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. No crying. Daddy, Jimmy. What? She's crying, sir.